Where do I begin? I guess I can start by saying that growing up in Gainesville, Florida, we have a racetrack called the Gainesville Raceway. And thanks to my Uncle Billy, shout out Uncle Billy, he used to take me when I was young to watch these drag racing events, uh, which are actually ran by the National Hot Rod Association. And uh, yearly, we would go to these events, I would watch the dragsters and all these hot rods drag and, and race down the drag strip. That kind of started my, my love affair with cars. And thanks to him, I've owned some pretty cool cars throughout the years. First and foremost, my 2015 Mustang, Mustang GT. I absolutely love this car. Uh, I bought it right before my, my son was born. And unfortunately, I ended up trading it in because uh, I couldn't deal with the, the putting the car seats into that cramped back seat. <clears throat> then came my beloved Volkswagen Golf R. Uh, I love this car as well. But I was also kind of worried about the reliability of Volkswagen, so I ended up trading it in not not long, maybe a year after I had it to get something a bit more practical, so I ended up getting an SUV. And then lastly, the car that I absolutely love the most, my 2021 Honda Civic Type R Limited Edition, which is just the yellow one. I love this car dearly and I actually tried to import it into Portugal when we found out that we were moving to Europe. Well, I will say try to import it into both France and Portugal with Honda France telling me, hell no. And then Portugal, Honda Portugal, basically I didn't get, didn't receive any response. So unfortunately I had to sell it. And this is the picture of me pretty much about to cry myself to sleep because I had to sell it this night. Anyway, I digress. So my love affair about cars, I was actually stoked, super, super excited when I found out that one, I would be leaving Cala Serena area and moving south to Lagos in the Algarve. And two, that there was a racetrack literally 24 minutes away from me in Lagos called the International Raceway of Portimao. Well, I believe it's called the Algarve, but I'll put the name right here. They have all types of races here from MotoGP to the endurance races, Le Mans. They have classic events of, of old classic race cars, uh, super basically whole super bike events there. But on this particular weekend, I ended up going to the four hours of Portimao, which was actually the last stop of the uh, European Le Mans series endurance races. And basically this race was going to determine the championship. Needless to say, 
Uh, I ended up bringing my son because of me. He also has a love affair of cars and vehicles. And I thought it would be a good experience for us to share and to go to our first ever race on a circuit uh, because I've only been to drag strips. And it was an incredible event. I mean, absolutely incredible. I, my, I was surprised that my, my son actually enjoyed it as well. And it was just amazing. When you, when you arrive, you, you kind of arrive into this tunnel and as soon as you pop out, you kind of pop out into the, the paddock area and they have all the race cars set up. I believe these are uh, LMP2 or LMP3 cars. And it was just amazing to just see them out front and just be able to get so close and personal. Yeah, go through with the them. tunnel, through the VIP tunnel. How was it VIP? Yeah, because Papa paid more money for it. <laughs> and we're going to, to the tower. We have a better view of the race. So we can see almost. We can see more. That's right. So we're going through the tunnel. We go up under the racetrack to the tower. It was really cool to just be so close. And the tickets that we actually had were in the VIP section. And there was a tower that kind of sits in the middle of the racetrack where you can see kind of like a 360 view of the race cars. You can go from one side to the other and see all the different chicanes and corners. And it was just incredible. So here you can just hear the... Uh, the visceralness of the, the race cars. Now, one of the things I will mention is that it gets loud. As you can see here in my watch, I have Apple Watch, and it was telling me, hey, this thing is getting quite loud, uh, over 100 decibels. So, you know, luckily, of course, we had ear coverings from, from 3M and, you know, my son and I, so we, we didn't have to really worry about much. But that was great. The additional thing that was really cool was that as a race fan and our, well, I guess our first time ever being to these type of events, honestly, seeing the cars going around the track, we had no fucking idea who was winning. But they have these monitors set up where you can actually see who's leading each, I guess, category of, uh, of the racers. So you see the LMP2, who's kind of leading that group. Um, and then you have LMP3 and then you see the, the GT3 class, which was, you know, pretty cool to see the leaderboard here. And shout out to the, the Breton guy <laughs> and supporting uh, the, the French driver. Uh, I, we actually met them and they're really cool. And, uh, you know, look forward to seeing you guys uh, again next year. Um, in the 2025 season. Uh, the one thing that I will mention that, that was a little bit disappointing are the, were the food options. Um, we actually you know, went to a place, uh, they, well, they had a few, just a few vendors serving food and the, the one main vendor that had either hamburgers or pizza, they actually ran out of pizza. And the fact that such an event wouldn't have tons and tons of food options was, was quite sad. And then when you're in the tower, the only food options you have besides beer, which, you know, was great, by the way, is to just have snacks. So you can get, you get the M&Ms, peanuts, you can get, you know, uh, potato chips, that type of stuff. But they don't sell food food, which was a little bit disappointing. And during a four hour race, you want some food food, you know. So that was one of the things that. I was mentioned that was a bit of disappointment. Well, the only disappointment that we had. And, you know, I guess the good thing is that they don't really check your bags when you're coming into the event. So next time I'll bring some sandwiches and, and just more sa snacks so that my son and I can kind of munch on during this four hour event. The other cool thing about being in the paddocks and, and being able to get the easy access to the paddocks is that you get these type of experiences. Like you can see here, my son is actually in the, one of the race cars. He's able to sit in there with the steering wheel. And, and for him, you know, it was an amazing experience. Hell, I wouldn't do it myself if I didn't have a, uh, a bit of an injury at the moment. But 
I would have loved to been able to sit in there, but I was just so happy that he was able to get that experience at such a young age. And and secretly, uh, I hope that kind of piques his interest to be a race car driver one day. I'm secretly hoping, but I'm sure my wife won't like that. Also, you have you know all these other um, GT3 cars. So you see the Ferrari here. You get, we had uh, a couple Lamborghinis and, and et cetera that was kind of set out. But it was just cool to be able to get so close and hell, even sit in them and even speak to some of the, the race team members that were there, um, you know, kind of helping people get in and out, which was really cool. So the question is, as a first timer who who's actually gone to one of these events, would I go back? The answer is hell yeah. I absolutely loved my experience here. And the fact that this racetrack is only roughly 20 minutes away from my house, I'm gonna be here all the time. Any any race event that comes here from motorcycles to GT3 cars, super bike, whatever, I'm gonna be here because one, the, the folks that actually worked the event were super helpful. It was our first time going there. We had no clue whatsoever what we were doing, where we were going, and they pointed us to the right direction. It was very sweet, very helpful. And hell, they even reimbursed me for my son's ticket uh, right before the event. They said they were running some special deal where one of the sponsors was actually paying for children tickets. I thought that was incredible, the fact that they would do something like that. So I will be back. Hell, I'm even going back this weekend because they have the, the Algarve Classic Festival, which is a bunch of old race cars. And I will be going back this weekend to check it out because it was just a, such an incredible event. And I love the racetrack. And I, now I'm just intoxicated and can't get enough of it. So thank you guys for checking it out. If you guys are in the Algarve, definitely check out this race track. 